Congratulations. You have somebody interested in your home. You think you got the perfect buyer who can close. Everything looks great. But what about all the furniture in the house? Mr. Seller, what are you going to do with it and what are your options? Today we are going to explore what happens when you actually get your house under contract, you would like to sell it. What do you do with all your furniture? Do you just pack it up and take it with you? Or do you leave it behind? My name is Jonathan B.J. Hayes, local realtor here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Thank you for once again returning back to the home of Port St. Lucie Real Estate. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the videos, like the videos, and tell a friend about the wonderful things going on here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Anybody out there who's looking to sell or buy a house here in Port St. Lucie, all my information is below in the description. So the house is now under contract. It's under contract and guess what? Now, Mr. Seller, you have to decide what I'm gonna do with all this furniture. Am I lugging it with me to my new house where I'm probably gonna buy new stuff anyway? Or am I donating it to Goodwill? Or am I gonna try to sell off each piece individually or maybe the buyers want all my furniture because of course my house is gorgeous and nobody can decorate like me. These are the questions you're going to face when you are selling a house. Here's what I can tell you. There's no easy answer. There's no wrong way. There's no right way. But if you are going to sell any furniture whatsoever, to the new buyer, do not put it on the contract. As realtors, licensed real estate agents, we sell houses, real property. Furniture is not real property. So even if you wanted to, let's say the buyer is buying with a mortgage, with a loan, the bank will not allow furniture to be on that contract. If you were paying all cash, you could get away with it because there is no third party involved. It's just going from Mr. Seller to Mr. Buyer. Even if it's all cash, do yourself a favor, do your realtor a favor, and do the buyer's realtor a favor. Have a separate addendum Work that out between you, the seller, and the buyer. None of the furniture goes on the contract. Everything is done separately between the two parties. Here's the reason why. The last thing you want on closing day is furniture you agreed upon to be in the house. Buyer shows up to do the walkthrough. All the furniture you promised is not there then you've got a tug of war. If furniture is on the contract, house isn't sold. When it's separate, even if there is a dispute, that's between you and buyer after the fact, that house is being sold at the title company and that's a personal matter you guys would have to settle up later. It's better that way. The least amount of time a buyer and seller can spend together the better off for all parties. So personally, I would tell you, if you've got furniture, try to dispose it of it yourself, give it away, move it yourself, give it to goodwill. If the buyer really, really wants it, you're never gonna get true value from them anyway. Work something offline yourself between you and the buyer, keep your realtors out of it things will go much cleaner. You'll sell your house, you'll move on with your life, and the new buyers can start theirs. My name is Jonathan B.J. Hayes. If you have any questions about real estate here in Port St. Lucie, all my information is below in the description. Everybody, till we meet again, stay safe and be blessed.